Hi everyone, Brian Davis from Brian Davis Scuba. I don't normally do unboxing videos, but late last night the Vaquita landed at my doorstep. I must be one of the first to get them. I have been um, pushing Paralens and criticizing them a little bit, but end of the day, it's here, so that's all forgotten. And from tomorrow, I start that diving with this bad boy. But anyway, I resisted the temptation to open it last night. You know, I was like a kid with a new toy. No, um, I thought, right, we'll open it here on YouTube with my followers. So let's see what I received. Um, a nice little touch. Um, they did um, put a little card in saying thank you for your patience. I mean, it has taken a long time to come, but that is a nice little touch. They also included a free Paralens lens cover as a, as a sort of um, reward for waiting so long or as an apology. Again, they didn't have to do that because everyone likes Paralens cameras and they're desperately waiting for this model. So yeah, that was a nice touch. So here's the camera and I also bought the mount bundle. Um, I didn't buy the third person viewer because I want to see how that's used before I commit to that that investment because the Paralens it might be very good quality it might take good pictures but it's not cheap but at the end of the day those of us who um, do take underwater video and photos know you know we want good equipment I always try to be cost effective I think although this is priced for my budget on the high side I do think with what it's supposed to do it is very good value and you won't hear that from me very often paying a lot of money and saying it's good value so let's get stuck in you know i didn't open it last night because you need a knife to open it so we'll just go through there what i do like as well guess what it's in paper paper packing you know or cardboard packing it's not in plastic right you know i, I love that even the box that it, the packaging was delivered in was cardboard it was sent by dhl and it wasn't in a plastic it was in cardboard so there we go let's see what we've got in here just a tip on on packaging keep the packaging because when you sell something second hand i've noticed you get a higher price if, if you've got all the original packaging and i have a little box at home that i keep all the original packaging in okay this is just telling us to check for the latest firm, firmware um, with this qr code which i'll do as soon as i get in my office and you'll see that later in this video with how I'm going to mount mount the camera. So don't lose that. Open here. Okay, in here we've got our cables, USB-C, I believe. That's one of the mounts. Goes over, and then you can use like a tripod mount in there. This is the information about the SD cards. It takes a maximum 128 GB, and it must be at least U3 rated speed class. 3 u3 and also said on other things that it should be rated as a v30 um, and that's what i've ordered sp specifically for this this camera and it recommends that you use the sandisk extreme series um, the plus or the pro there's the three there which is not what i've ordered i've ordered alexa because um, sandisk couldn't deliver today so let's hope that it works well I i'm sure it will you know but um I think I will order a SanDisk, the Extreme Pro as well, just to get the best performance. Quick start guide, I'm going to read that later. And here, look at this packaging, there's a little bit of plastic, but they've really taken the time, you know. This, I think I'm starting to understand why it was well worth the wait, because there's a lot of things they had to get right. Spare O-rings and I think that's some, yeah, something to do with, I'm not sure what that is, we'll figure that out later. And let's put all that back in here. I've heard that the app should be something spectacular. I was looking online on the launch video from Paralens, which you'll see part of later in this video, and they said they've completely redesigned and rebuilt the app. Okay, here's the camera. Look at that. That is a work of art. Aluminium case. Oh, it now has a, a back screen. 
Um, I've got to read and check about. I don't believe you can see the image, but it, it's got a big where you can got all the information. One of the things I like about this is you can change the settings underwater with this. Here. You're going to see that in a minute because I'm just going to show you a clip from Martin, the head of development for Paralens, where he talks about the features of this. He does it much better than than I ever could. But yeah, really good. I've got to figure out how I'm going to mount it because I've um, taken an old, uh, a spare tray I had. You'll see that after Martin when I'm back in my office and we figure out how we're going to mount it for using it tomorrow. Let's have a look at the mount bundle that I ordered. I'm loving this packaging. I'm really loving it. One, one of the things that's quite interesting when I looked at the launch video from Parallels, the live stream launch, is I guess if you choose to, you can send footage automatically with GPS coordinates, depth, temperature of your footage to, um, I guess, it, I'm not sure how it works really. I know Arizona State University is heavily involved, but where they collect footage and data and try and uh, work out the condition and what's happening to the world's ocean. I, for one, will be subscribing to that. I've seen some comments on YouTube where people are talking about privacy and data and all of that. Who cares? If it's, if it's going for a good cause, and we are actually giving scientists data to help us understand how to save the ocean better. For me, that's that's a no-brainer. Okay, here we go. We've got the, the different mounts. Again, I'm not sure how that one works, but I do know how this one works, and that's what I'll be setting up on my tray. I'll have a ball mount to ball mount connection, but I'll show you that after you've listened to Martin. But that's it. That's the um, oh no, sorry, the free lens cover. I find it pretty funny you have to pay extra for a lens cover. Um, but they did give one away free, so that's pretty cool. Um, power lens, why don't you include? I mean, it's such a nice um, camera. It is pretty pricey, and and why do a, an add-on for something essential like a lens cover? Again, s slight criticism. Um, you know, is it a little bit money grabbing? I don't know but I mean that should be included as standard I didn't order one because I can't remember the price but when I ordered it, I thought well that is expensive for a lens cover let me see the unit before it comes and then decide if I can actually machine a lens cover out of nylon or something but anyway I got one for free because it was late I really appreciate that parrot lens I really appreciate that I seem to be one of the first customers to get one in my hands so to Marco and Adriana Paralens thank you very much now let's listen to Martin about the features of this bad boy Martin I think uh, people out there are dying to uh, to learn what's uh, what's up with the new baby Makita so uh, please take it away yeah it is the baby Makita <laughs> uh, I've been waiting for so long to you know to be able to uh, to show this camera um, four years ago uh, we got the idea of making a camera built for diving uh, in a shape that could uh, retain a, a lot of pressure. And this is the second generation, uh, the Vikita. And I just want to go to uh, some of the cool features in this new product and, and what we fitted into the camera. Um, so if you look at the camera here, you are... Um, is it on here? Can you see it? Uh, all right, cool. Um, we fitted in a larger display. And, and because of that, we need to get the size of the camera a little bit bigger so we can have actually a good looking display on the camera. Um, on the menu bar, we got the ring around the camera and the idea behind the ring is actually so you can use the camera with gloves on uh, when you're on the water. Especially here in Denmark, the water is, is very cold, so you need to dive gloves on. Uh, we got the snap record feature and the snap record feature is, is a feature built so you can take a picture or if you hold it in, it will record a video until you release it again. And uh, of course, there's a normal recording. Um, and you can have um, yeah, a normal recording. You can, you know, you can just start a recording, stop a recording. Um, can we get the picture up here, Sasha? Uh, if you've got uh, the custom mode, you've got two different custom modes. Uh, the custom mode is a mode so you can actually choose what you want on this mode. So when you're diving, you don't need to to go into settings and change the camera. You can have a different settings. Maybe you want a settings for uh, 720p uh, resolution because you see you're running low on battery 
and you want to film for a longer time, you can turn it, just turn the, the ring and you've got a different settings. Or if you want to have it on, uh, you know, time lapse, or if you want to have some different features. Uh, of course, there's a setting menu. Uh, so all the settings you can set the camera, you can do that on the camera as well. So if you've got something, you can still change it underwater. Um, we got a media file where you can actually see your dive profile on the camera. Uh, I know it's a small display for a dive profile, but you can see what you've been doing uh, on the camera. Uh, and it works like a library as well, so you can go to your footage. If you're on a safety stop on the way up and you don't have, you know, don't know what to use the time for, you can just go to the pictures and, and see them on the camera. Uh, we got the GPS uh, location, and the GPS location is um, uh, when we launch the camera is uh, the coordinates. So we are logging uh, the picture uh, and or the movie with a location, so you can get that into the app and get that, you know, put it on the map around the world. Uh, and on the power screen, we will have uh, your dive time. You can see your uh, your max depth and the temperature of the water. Um, for free divers, you can get a descent speed, for example. That's something we will uh, add in as well. Um, looking around the camera as well, we fit it in this, we make this new design on the end cap. And the whole idea about the end cap is, the new design as well, is that it, it in, uh, enables us to make accessories in the future. You can just plug onto the camera and you can plug them off very easily. So you can get a cable into, for example, could be a cable out. Um, Sensor-wise, we got the depth sensor, uh, as in the old camera as well. The idea behind that is um, we lock the depth, so if you get your dive profile, you can see that in the app as well, but you get your dive profile with your pictures on it. And we also use the depth sensor to control the colors. So if you are diving in uh, green waters, for example, you need to adjust a lot of the red up, up for the red colors. Um, and, and because we know how deep the camera is, we can adjust that. Use this uh, data to adjust the pictures. So no need for filters. Uh, our DCC works like a digital filter, so we don't take any lights out of the picture. Um, we also put it in um, the latest Sony sensor. It's very light sensitive, so, so the camera is built for diving. So a lot of places you're diving, there's low light conditions. So with that sensor, we can get as much light in as possible. Have you enjoyed listening to Martin and all the features there? Um, probably my only criticism, is this bag because that comes with the camera while the camera itself will fit in nicely it is a little bit tight and there you see if you put the lens lens cap on it doesn't fit in the bag but there you see it doesn't um, go inside this nice little sheath so that should have been a little bit bigger and I would have preferred it to be a little bit better quality but anyway small detail nobody's perfect certainly not me it doesn't detract from my purchase at all. As I said, I'll be keeping it in a little um, hard box with foam anyway, so I probably won't be using this sheath. Anyway, let's get on to what I'm doing, how I'm going to mount the camera and use it for the next few days, starting from tomorrow. Okay, I've got the, the key to set up for the diving over the next few days. Um, if you looked at my original um, GoPro and Paralens journey, I do have the intention to install this on my two with, along with my two GoPros um, which is still my intention but because I've got to fabricate um, some parts to do that I've just put it on this spare tray that I've got um, and I've used the GoPro mounting to connect to the ball adapter you can see that there um, I will improve on this but I just haven't got time I want to get into the water um, I don't like having so many thing, knobs to fiddle with um, but you know, I'm going to. Um, I want to get in the water tomorrow, so a nice, simple setup, so I can show everyone some of the um, the footage from this this camera. Um, you can see there, quite nice, the lens cap. I did find a, a, a good little um, use for the little bag that doesn't work when the lens cap is on. As I said earlier, I put all the accessories in there; they all just fit perfectly. Um, setting up the camera was fairly easy. I put it on on to charge. Um, you do get a little quick start guide which is okay I think it was was a bit rushed um, they could have done I think a little bit, bit better job on that um, but having said that I've managed to set it to 180 um, 60 um, feet per second I've managed to switch on um, the um, dynamic or digital color correction on DCC 
One thing I couldn't figure out and didn't seem to have an option is it says there's two DC settings, green and blue, but it wasn't giving me an option. I mean, that may be my fault. I'm, I'm, I'm not um, complaining. Um, and they do refer to the main manual. I went to the Parallels um, website um, and it wasn't available. The only one that was available was um, this one. You can see the screenshot um, where the options were. So I downloaded this. It's been a little bit useful. Um, another thing that I'm, I'm not too happy with because I thought we just had to have a U3 V30 SD card. Having read the literature, it says it must be a Sandix card. So I've got to go off and find a Sandix card um, later today if I want to use this tomorrow because I don't want to risk it. It's expensive going diving and if the Lexar card, which I've already bought, doesn't work, it will have been a waste and I'll be delayed in giving you more footage. Besides that, I had a little bit um, trouble connecting. I'm not sure if I connected or not because it, it, it kept the screen kept coming up about dives and it wouldn't move and I haven't done any dives. So I'm assuming I did connect on the Wi-Fi. You can see here the screenshot from my phone. So I know I was connected. It also early on said it was downloading some new firmware or something, but it wasn't downloading to the camera at that time. It seemed to be just downloading to the app. So I'm not really sure how all that works. The app seems to have had good reviews, um, as you can see from this screenshot, um, but one person really absolutely hated it. So, you know, they're all fives and one one. So I guess he was just someone who was disaffected and decided to blast them. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the app. I'm hoping that after I've done some dives, it, you know, it connects and shows me what I can do. But we'll find that out tomorrow. But all in all, fairly easy to set up. Um, the battery, it wasn't charged at all when I came. I've got about half charge after two hours. Um, so I, obviously I'll leave it on overnight. Um, why did I, I buy this camera? Well, yeah, why did I not continue with my GoPros? And I'm gonna continue with my GoPros, don't get me wrong. Um, the digital color correction or dynamic, uh, dynamic color correction for me was a big plus. On the GoPros, I found that, that on the Hero 7 and Hero 8, the um, filters, especially the green, doesn't really work. It does on earlier models. Um, I like the fact that this now has a, a back screen so I can actually see what I'm shooting. So, I, can, I mean, my eyesight's still pretty poor and my new mask still has not arrived, but I will be able to see that quite nicely um, when my new mask comes but I'll just bring it up closer and squint. I'm sure it'll be fine, but at least I can uh, frame stuff now when I use it. Um, I also like the fact that I think it's depth rated to 250 meters. So any depth I'm likely to go at, it's gonna be fine. Um, and the fact that it's designed specifically for underwater is a big plus and, the and you can adjust the controls underwater as well. So you can actually um, adjust all your settings while you're on the dive, which you can't do with a GoPro. It's a big limitation on the GoPro. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to it being my main sort of wide angle camera. Um, I'm gonna try it without lights this week. I'm still working on my light setup, as you know, um, but if push comes to shove, we'll just mount the um, Fusion 1500s on and then go off and see how it works. So the next couple of days I'm gonna be diving Unfortunately, because of holidays and things, I won't be uploading any of the footage till Sunday, but from Sunday, we should have daily uploads for at least five to seven days on the dives that I've been doing. So look forward to showing you some actual footage from the Vikita.